Hello, today we are going to see how we can make several loop animations in the same slide like in this example, and the script enabling to make them run together. For people who have already viewed my videos you can recognize the same landscape with the mountains and the sea that I had made to show how we could make loop animations with Captivate 9. You're going to see now, that with Captivate 2017 and the while advanced action, it is easier to make this type of animation. In addition to this animated mountains that give illusion that all move forward, you can also see two other types of animation. One that appears from right and disappears to left at a given time, such as the clouds at the top. The clouds at the bottom. Or the blue boat. And another one that permanently stays visible on screen, such as the plane. Or the bird. Let's see now how it is made in Captivate. First, all these animations are in the same slide. And the duration of the timeline doesn't over 3 seconds, which is very convenient. We no longer need to have a long timeline to make loop animations. Regarding the script, all these animations are in a unique script located on enter of the slide. Now let's begin by showing you with more details how I have made these animations. First I am going to show you an update of this loop animation with Captivate 2017. Then I will show you an overview of how I have made the other animations. And finally I will show you the final script I've made. Let's start now by showing you an update of this animation by using the state view to build it, and the while action to animate it. To remind you. This picture is made up from one original picture where its left and right side are the same. Both sides finish at the same level in order they match. Then this picture has been copied three times in a new file, the objective being to reproduce visual cycles to animate it correctly. For people who would want to see with more details how to make this picture, you can watch the video I had made with Captivate 9. Now, once you have designed this type of picture, you can work with Captivate. Let's see that. With Captivate I am going to show you from scratch, it will be easier to understand. First I create a shape. and set its size to the size of my picture. Then I set its X position to 0. And make it completely transparent by setting its opacity and stroke to 0. Once done I select the State View button. In the normal view, I import my picture from the library. Set its position to 0 as well. Check out the Y position of my original shape. and going to report it to my picture.
Once done I've finished with the normal view, and my goal now is to animate this picture in loop. To do so, I duplicate this view with a right click in order to create a new state. Then as my original picture was 640 pixels wide, I set its X position to minus 640. Then I add an animation effect to make my picture move from right to left. To do so I select the fly in from right effect from the entrance menu. And check out that the distance between the end and the beginning of my animation path, has a distance to 640 pixels like my original file. As you can see the end of my motion path is located to 320. And the beginning at 920. That means that I only have a distance of 600 pixels between both. And as I want a distance of 640, I am going to display the guides in order to help me to do so. Then as my guide is located to 961 pixels, I am going to adjust the beginning of my motion path to 960. Like this. This is it. Now that I have a distance of 640 pixels between both, I am going to enter a duration of 11 seconds for this animation. And that's all. The setup of this state is completed. Now how to prepare this state for a loop animation. It is very simple, I am just going to duplicate it. And that's all, I do not need to do more. It is exactly what I did with my original animation. Let's go and see. I had created a state with its animation. Then had duplicated it. That's all. The only thing that is missing now is the script. So let's go and see how the script that enables this animation to run in loop is. The script is placed on the enter of the slide. In my example I've called it landscape, and it contains the whole scripts for all my animations. Let's look at it. To present you it shortly, you can see that it is a conditional action script. And that every animation has its own script placed in a decision tab sheet. Let's begin by the script of the loop animation of the mountains, and we will see the other afterwards. This script uses the while action, to which I have entered the following equation, 1 is equal to 1. Like this. so that the actions below can run in loop. The actions are the following. When entering on the slide, the state view of my animation that is on normal by default, goes to new state 1 where my animation effect is, and plays 11 seconds, like the duration of my effect. Then it goes to new state 2 to make another loop animation, and remains displayed 10 seconds here. Then it goes back to the first action. 
and repeats all the actions indefinitely. Maybe you are wondering why I've entered 10 seconds in the second cycle here, and not 11? Because it takes a little bit of time to captivate to switch from this action to the first one, and a visual skip often occurs between the two animated states. So to avoid this, I've reduced the time of my second animation of one second, in order that it works better. Now we have finished with this animation and its scripts, let's see how the scripts of the other animations are, with their state view as well. The animation of these clouds at the top, has been made with the following state views. A normal one that is not animated. It just represents the place where you want your animation starts. The state one is animated with a fly in from right effect with a duration of 16 seconds. And the state 2 is a duplication of the state 1. Easy no? Let's see now its script. This one is the same made for the mountains. You will notice that I haven't entered a duration of 16 seconds for the delay but 20, so that the clouds remain outside of the screen 4 or 5 seconds to give a real illusion that some new ones enter by the right side a little bit later. Let's see now the following animation. Clouds 2. Clouds 2 represents the script for the animated clouds at the bottom of the illustration. These clouds are animated with the same principles than the clouds at the top. However the duration is 20 seconds here, to give the illusion that they move slower than the ones at the top, because they are supposed to be farther in the sky. And of course the state 1 is also a duplication of the state 2. Let's continue with the animation of the plane. Its script is based on the same principles than the previous ones. However its animation is a little bit different, let's see that. The normal view has no animation effect like the other ones. Then for the state 1. I have used a rotate to effect, with a rotation of minus 10 to give the illusion that the plane lift up its wings. Then for the state 2. I have also used the rotate to effect, but this time I have set a rotation of 10, to give the illusion that the plane turned down its wings. And by combining these two effects one after this other, we have the illusion that the plane really flies. Let's see now the animation of the boat. This one starts outside of the screen and goes through the landscape towards the left. Let's see its state view. We have a normal state, not animated. Then a state one that I have also animated with a fly in from right effect, with a duration of 18 seconds. Then the state 2 that is a duplication of the state 1.
regarding its script this is same as the others, except that I delayed its entry by 3 seconds. Last, let's see the last animation, the one of the bird. Unlike the other animations, this one is made with several pictures and this is not an animation effect that animates it, but the display of these pictures one after the others, like in the cartoons. Let's see that. I have three pictures to make my bird fly. Bird 1 Bird 2 and bird 3. As you can see the wings are differently placed according to the pictures to correctly animate the fly. Let's see now how these pictures are placed in the state view. First the normal view and the state one display the bird one picture. Then the state 2, the bird 2 picture. The state 3, the bird 3 picture. And all of them have exactly the same size and placed at the same place. Moreover, I no need to use an animation effect for this type of animation, since this is the display of these different pictures one after the others that will make the animation. Let's see now its script. First the state 1 is displayed. Then the state 2. Then the state 3. Then I display the state 2 again in order to get a coherent move with the wings of the bird. Then the script starts again with the state 1. You also notice that I have put a delay of 0.1 second between each state. This time actually represents the time where each picture is displayed on the screen. Remember that the animation running without any animation effect, we don't have any effect duration. So it's in the script that we define the duration of each state or picture by inserting a delay or next action between each picture. That's all for this tutorial. I have showed you the various animations and loop animations that we could create with Captivate, and I hope you have liked and learned something new. See you soon.